And welcome back to another episode of the MTC edition on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Happy New Year. This is the fifth edition of the Make the Call series, and I am very excited to give you guys a fresh round of calls this year if any calls that you want to put in on the docket all you got to do is request it and i'll get it out there for you guys this year is going to be a bomb year for trucking and a lot of people is going to come in they're going to want to know about these different companies they want to know about the company side they want to know about the lease side they want to know uh what company is good for them and hopefully this series that i started back in the day is working out for you guys thank you very much in this episode we have state express they're located out of illinois but this isn't a proper intro unfortunately uh i was i was not able to put a proper intro together for you guys so what i did i went to youtube and I found this gentleman that will do it for me. His name is Devin Mass. What's going on, bro? Welcome to YouTube. If you guys want to see more about State Express, he talks a little bit more about it. Go over there, subscribe to him. Driver Spotlight, Devin Mass. What's good, bro? Um, he's going to do the intro for me. So without further ado, we're going to let Devin Mass do the intro for state express trucking there wasn't a lot of, i just got this new company called state express in uh chicago well, it's not chicago it's actually in like oaklawn or whatever it's like, an, like a half hour away from chicago and I, I started researching about them there's not a lot of videos about them at all so i decided well hey let me start because i'm pretty sure people have been looking this company up and doing anything about it. It's actually a few companies out here that are like them, but this one I feel like is more for me. It's uh, 70 cents a mile, and they got me on a Midwest regional account. They do they do do OTR. They do lease and lease purchase and tr and just lease, or they're called lease truck rent. Uh, I've talked to a couple drivers here. They the company drivers they make around 17 to 2,500 a week. Lease drivers or truck rent drivers, they're making about thirty-five, forty-five hundred a week. Now, I'm not getting details about what they their expenses are. I'm not there yet. Is this State Express Trucking? Yes, it is. How can I help you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, my name's going? Uh, yeah, my name's uh, Sean. I'm a five year truck driver. Uh, I came across you. Yes, I, I came across you guys uh, via Facebook, and I'm, via I'm, Facebook. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. So I'm I'm trying to get uh trying to get a little bit more um information. information. You, you, yeah, you got time. You you got a couple of minutes to you know let me know what the company course, is about course, and what you got yeah, uh, what sure, you got to sure, offer. Sure, sure. All right, all right. Yeah, uh, Sean, of course. Hey, can you, you know? So, it, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't so mean. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Yes, tell me about it. A little bit about yourself. How much experience you have? Where do you live? Uh, how well, often you want to be home? Yeah, I'm out of. And I'm, one more last thing is how uh, how is the driving vehicle? All right, so I'm out of Ohio. Uh, been, okay. dri been driving what, what for part of Ohio? Columbus, Cincinnati, Cleveland, which part? Cleveland, 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 Cleveland. Okay, uh, Cleveland. All right. Yeah, I've been uh, driving for five years. Uh, going on well, it's six years now because this is December, so six years okay. of driving and uh, uh, excellent driving record. No, you know, no tickets, no, uh, no skirmishes, no nothing. <clears throat> All right. Can you, can you, so, can you, oh, go ahead. How often do you want to be home? You didn't answer me this question. How often do you want to be home? Uh, I'm, weekly? I'm looking to be home weekly. Yeah. Yeah. Weekly. All right. So weekly Cleveland area, mm -hmm. it'll be 70 cents a mile every weekend home for a 34 hour lease. Oh, just, Saturdays just, and you get, 
just the 34, not not a full two days? We can do two full two days, not a big deal. You still even you're getting paid there's seventy cents a mile, so it's definitely not a big deal. Oh, okay, okay. How how long average? Oh, I, I was average gonna, miles. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Was, I, I I was gonna ask. Go I I was gonna ask how how long you guys been in existence? So I, I was trying to nineteen years. Oh, nineteen years. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um. All right, so go ahead. You, you, as you were saying. Yeah. So as I was saying, it will be a day and a half orientation. We provide car, we provide hotel, uh, food throughout orientation, and uh, what else? It's seventy cents a mile. It's a ten ninety nine, which means we don't take out any taxes. There's no deposit, no escrow, nothing. The only deduction that you're gonna see weekly it will be a forty dollars occupational insurance in case something happens to you while you work. Uh, other than that. That's all. That, that's about it. All I need from you in this time is your copy of your driver's license and medical card. You can send it to my cell phone. But I can tell right away you got pre-approved because you answered most of the questions yes that I needed an answer. So <laughs> I can tell you're going to be pre-approved. Right? <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, orient. No, 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 like honestly, like look at this this way. If, uh, if I ask you if you have any tickets, you said it's nothing. There's nothing over there. So usually when people have something, they say like, yeah, I had a speeding in 18. I had a... Uh, his cell phone used in 2019 and things like this. So you didn't say any, none of that. So I can tell right away if we approve. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I at least try to keep my, you know, driver's license clean, you know, while I'm driving the truck and while I'm driving my personal car. So, you know, okay. I, I never, you know, I never got any tickets. Uh, but, you know, I probably have a parking ticket or something like that in my past. But as far as, you know, traffic tickets or getting pulled over, for a ticket, no, I, I I I don't have none of that on my license. Uh, you said a a day and a half orientation. So what might I have to bring up to Illinois? I'm I'm thinking you guys is out of Illinois. Yes, we are out of Illinois, out of uh, Woodridge. Okay, Woodridge. Okay, so what what might uh, other than my driver's license? What 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 else I might need to bring with me uh, for orientation? You will need to bring with you your. I'm gonna start from the. Again, you're going to need to bring with you um, your driver's license, your social security, your bank account information for your direct deposit, and your medical card. If you have the short form, is good. If you have the long form, as well, is good. Oh, okay. But uh, just the short form is fine as well. What about um, what about what about um, what do you call it? The the P test, the um, the drug test. Is that uh, the done? The P test, the yeah. drug test. Yeah, yeah is that you, done? You'll do it here. You'll do it here in, uh, in Chicago when you're going to be in orientation. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, um, all right. So I'm up there. Let's say I'm up there. You know, I'm rocking out. Everything's good. Um, okay. You guys, uh, what 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 am I looking at to to get you know weekly as far as miles go? So as far as mileage, uh, you're looking at um, average, I would say, 2,800 miles, 29, probably 3,000 would be top. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't have no, so, I, I, I wouldn't mean, have no minimum, issues. Minimum, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have no issues with my, with my fleet manager trying to, you know, trying to get me, you know, get me routed or anything like that. If he gets me, if he gets me something that I don't think I would want to take, like the Northeast, for example. Like what? Yeah, like the Northeast, okay. for example. Uh, do I ha am I forced okay. to take it up there? Well, I mean, you're a company driver, and then everyone needs to make money in this stuff. Period, right? And so you need to make money, and companies to make money as well. But you can also always can talk to him and let you let let him know what you like. But we usually try to stay like 500 miles around Chicago, so. Oh, okay. The least amount of miles that you're gonna make, it'll be twenty five hundred dollars, twenty five hundred miles. Oh, okay. So if you do twenty five hundred miles at that seventy cents, that's already like seventeen fifty. And like I told you, there will be a deduction of forty dollars weekly for your occupational insurance. Mm -hmm. So you're looking to get clean checks of seventeen ten every week. Oh, okay. That sounds uh, that sounds pretty good. What uh, now? You said this is ten ninety nine. So am I a company driver at ten ninety nine, or am I, or do you guys got leasing? Also at ten ninety nine. 
We do have leasing also, but that one is available after three months working as a company driver. Oh. You need to make sure that you like the company and things like this. Okay, too. What if you don't like the company? You sign a big agreement, you know, and then later on you let you leave the company. Company is not going to give you back the deposit, right? You know, and so on. And then you're going to be blaming like, oh, Alex, that recruiter guy, bad guy, <laughs> he was lying to me, you know. And State Express is blah blah blah, yada yada yada. No, it doesn't go like this. Okay, okay, so okay. First, give it a try, Sean. I mean, Sean, you said right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Sean. Yes. So give it a try. See how you like it. You know. If you like us as a company, if you like me as a recruiter, not lying to you and things like this. Right, and right, right. That, and that's why, you know, you know that's like why I'm company. doing my research. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm sitting down, you know, trying to, you know, see if this uh, if this is right for me. Um, all right. So uh, get paid weekly. Uh, I take it. Get paid weekly. Do And this is 1099 across the board. So no... Um, no taxes, no insurance, like yeah, we don't take any taxes, no insurance, right? Oh, okay, okay, no insurance, nothing like right. that. I just, I just get paid and 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 then I go. <laughs> exactly, okay, you know, exactly. And then take care of your tax. All right, Sean. So long story short, let's not uh, waste our time. Send a picture of your license and medical card, and I'm gonna talk to my sleep guys to prepare a truck for you for next week or two weeks from now. Well, no, and I, we'll see ourselves in the time soon. I got, I, I got, I got a couple of more questions, right? Quick, is that sure, okay? sure, sure? All right, cool, ahead. awesome, what you got. awesome. Uh, what about the equipment? The what, what equipment I got? What what what, what truck any, I would get, and what would be in the truck? I don't know. I don't know what kind of truck you're gonna get. It depends when you're gonna be in orientation. But you're looking anywhere from 2017 and up. So trucks not older than three, than, than three years. Okay, okay. Uh, do the trucks. Uh, do the truck comes the, with a Qualcomm? The have, yes, the trucks have, not Qualcomm. We used to have people in it, but we got rid of them because they became real greedy. And um, we have a tablet inside the truck, which is um, like some Sarah, pretty much. Oh, okay, so it just works It just works my clock and nothing else. Now, as far as getting my dispatches, what, how? Yeah, you're going to get it through your cell phone. Oh, I would get my dispatches. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get my dispatches yeah. through my cell phone. The trucks have APU, bridges, CB radios, you know. I mean, not CB radios, my bad. APU, inverters, and uh, and uh, we change the mattresses, you know, for the request. If you see the request, they have a new mattress and so on. Volvo? Uh, it might be a Volvo. It might be a Freightliner. I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Like I said, it really depends when you're going to show up here. So then I'm going to be able to have more information about what kind of truck you you will get. Okay. Uh, like, like I said, it's going to be not like a Kenworth or Peterbilt. No, it's a Volvo or a Freightliner. You know what? Oh, okay, okay. So that that's pretty simple. I'm I'm good with either or. So what are you doing right now, Sean? What made you look around, shop for different companies? Uh, well, you know, I'm just you know, I you know, I I've been driving for five years. Uh, you know, I only been with I only been with a few companies. You know, but I'm I'm in a you know I'm in a social media group uh, on Facebook and YouTube and all this other good stuff, and you know I'm just you know just weighing the options of of what will be my next move in the next, you know, in the next yeah. couple of years, you know, what, you know, right now, well, right I hope now. I'm going to stay with that couple of years because I've heard <laughs> all kinds of yeah. people stay a couple of years and then next day they quit. But I hope you're one of those guys that stays a couple Ex years. Exactly. What, what do you say? And what do you say about them drivers? Because, you know, I, I did go to Indeed and, you know, I've seen only a couple, you know, a couple of, reviews on there that's you know that's kind of that's kind of scrimmish i mean what what would you say uh about you know about that because you know one review said that you know this company ain't ain't all that's cracked up to be okay i don't know which review you have seen but um there's always situations when people don't say everything mm -hmm. but let's say if you damage the truck and i'm going to be honest with you if you damage the truck and you decide to play to play smart and just quit in the middle of the load, mm -hmm. then believe me, you're not going to get the last two checks or the last check, whatever you're going to have on hold. Oh, okay. So a lot of people don't they make the trucks for thousands of thousands of dollars, and then later on they decide to quit, and of course they don't get anything. 
So okay, okay, that's all yeah. I can say. Yeah, that 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 could but, be that that could be a major problem. <laughs> now I, I, I don't like think. I said, just look it up for Swift. What people say like about Swift that it's bad. Yeah, they say that it's bad. I still go to work for them, so mm-hmm. it's a different situation. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I, you know, I do appreciate the the time that you're giving me, and I, I and and again, like I said, I'm just doing my research and you know, seeing right, you know what I can research, see how it goes. You got my cell phone number. Yeah. If you can text me if you want or call yeah. me, this is my cell, and we'll go from there. If you decide to join us, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, one last question: as far as being routed, like if I want to be if if I want to run the uh. Like the the interstate, like the turnpike and no. all like so that. So here's the thing. I'll tell you how it is. Go I'll ahead. tell you how it is. Go ahead. It's not like how you want to run. It's not like how, how everything else. Mm-hmm. We run by the spot market. So if the market is good in, let's say, in Cleveland, we're going to keep sending you Cleveland. If the market is good in St. Louis, we're going to keep sending you St. Louis. This is how it's going to happen. We go by the spot market. Okay. Driver is not allowed to speak and choose loads. That's why you're considered a company driver. Okay. If you want to be... Speaking and choosing your loads, become an owner up, become a lease up, and then maybe you're going to be able to do things like this. Okay. As long as you're in a company seat, and I'll be blunt with you. Maybe other recruiters just tell you like a different story, but this is how yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be blunt. Become That's what I want. Up, become an owner up, and then uh, pick and choose your loads how you want it. All right? Okay. That'll work. That'll work. All right. Well, hey, I thank you. So. Ve- hey, thank you very much. And I, I appreciate your right, honesty, right, man. Sean, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. State Express Trucking, everybody. <laughs> well, what do you guys think about that call right there? Uh, not, not, nothing too much. Not, not, not more, nothing less. You know, we just got a little vibe going with each other you know what 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 i'm looking for what they're looking for what they're offering and uh and i guess um you know i i guess what they're offering and and again you know with him being blunt about uh about the company per se company been in business for 19 years so maybe they doing something right of course it's a 1099 company but you're a company driver. They do have leasing, though. They do have leasing. So if you're interested in becoming a lease op with them, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to get the amount. Hmm. Didn't get the amount on that. Hopefully, it's more than. Uh, oh, hopefully, it's more than what it is. But he say figure about three months, give or take. You know, you 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 want to light the company before you actually sit down and sign an agreement, and this probably might not be a walkaway lease per se. You know, so let's say for example, seventy cent a mile, you get in, and then boom, you like it, you run, and you 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 figure out that you want to uh, be a lease op with them. You sign the contract, and boom, you run lease. You get to pick your loads. You get to pick and choose your loads. But as far as a company driver, he said, no, no, you're a company driver. You're a 1099 company driver. So with that said, you got to run the loads that they get. And he says they go by the stock, by the spot market. So if they got loads in Cleveland, you'll be I'll be going back and forth in Cleveland. Mrs. Uh Missouri, back and forth in Missouri. You'll be running th- about 500 miles from Chicago, Illinois radius. What do you think, guys? State Express Inc. Like I said, I I seen a few, you know, I seen a few of their trucks around here and there. You know, I didn't think they was I didn't think they was in existence for that long though, but Close to 20 years, that's that's a pretty good track record. Now, as far as the call goes, is it's like I said about these, you know, about these recruiters. You know, you you call them up, you vet them, you try to get some information. It just feels sort of rushed. Hey, this is what we got, this is what we want, this is what you need to do. State Express Inc. They are located out of Woodridge. Wood Ridge, Illinois. Their phone number. Well, here's the thing with their phone number. All right. 
their phone number is connected to his cell phone. So I at fr- when I when I called a few times, when I called a few times, I wasn't sure how that I wasn't sure if it was in existence because of course in the intro y'all saw I tried to look up their website and their website wasn't nowhere to be found. So State Express Woodbridge Illinois. Give them a call. Find out if this is the right company for you. Now, let me make you make sure you understand that this is a 1099 company driver. They take out a deduction for the insurance just in case something happens. But he said that you will be running about 25 or about 25 to 2,800 miles a week, 70 cent a mile at about 17, 17 and some change. Maybe, you know, because not every week is going to be the same week. You're going to have some good weeks and you might have some bad weeks. I'm just saying. So just know that you might not get $1,700 gross every week. All right. Maybe about 15, maybe about 10, maybe about 12, give or take. But just know that this is a 1099 company. You're responsible for everything across the board. Uh, if you have a family, you definitely want to look into insurance, health insurance, life insurance, whatever insurance. You definitely want to check into all of that. All right. State Express Inc. Give them a call. Find out if it's right for you. I want to do it, everybody, for this edition of Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition. If you guys are interested in any calls that you want me to make, leave it in the comments below or hit me up in the Gmail. That's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Or if you're on Instagram, hit me up over there. Look, look at here. I want you guys to help this channel grow for 2021. I'm trying to do it for you. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. I'll come back at you guys later. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, and searching, searching. that you get will uh will will look at that and will give you routes according to getting you home every week.